Bernoulli distribution. Bernoulli distribution is a very easy to understand and a very basic kind of probability distribution. So we need to understand in what circumstances should you use a Bernoulli distribution, right? So the first thing you have to understand is this. This models single trial of a binary experiment. What is a binary experiment? It has only two outcomes. It can be 0 and 1 or in general we would say success and failure. It can, it can be something like a coin toss. It will have only two outcomes that is heads and tails. So if you consider head as success and tail as failure, it has only two outcomes. So any experiment which has only two outcomes, it is called as a binary experiment. All those binary experiment can be shown by a Bernoulli distribution given that you are only considering a single trial. That is if it is a coin toss, if you are only considering one particular coin toss, then it can be represented by a Bernoulli distribution. Let us see how to represent it using a Bernoulli distribution. What will be the probability mass function and how to find the variance expectation and so on. So from this, you will get an idea of how to model a distribution. And the most important part is Bernoulli distribution will uh, serve as a base in order to understand the remaining ones. That is, if you want to understand binomial dist distribution or multinomial distribution or anything that is going forward, Bernoulli will kind of act like a base. So it's important that you start from here, understand this and then go to the next. So let us say you have a binary random variable x. So because it is binary, x has only two values. So let us say the two values are 0 and 1, x element of 0 and 1, okay? In this case, uh, let us consider some uh, real life experiment, say flipping a coin. So you have a probability of getting heads and also probability of getting tails. Considering that it is not a fair coin, that is the chances of let's say getting head is slightly higher, maybe 0.6 and that of getting tail is 0 0.4 or something like this. I just mean to say that it's not a fair coin which would give 50% chance of a heads and a 50% tails. Instead, let us consider an unf unfair coin because then only it makes sense for us to uh, understand it through a distribution. So let us say the probability of your success is uh, represented by P. So let us say probability of heads or let me say head would mean x is equal to 1, okay? So in that case, probability of x is equal to 1, this is denoted by let's say p. In this case, what will be probability of x equal to 0? Probability of x is equal to 0, this will be 1 minus p. How did I get this as 1 minus p? Because total probability is 1 and there are only two possible outcomes. Either it can be 1 or it can be 0. So if the probability of x equal to 1 is p, the probability of x equal to 0 has to be the remaining, that is 1 minus p. So let us first write the PMF. What is PMF? Probability mass function. Whenever you have a distribution, it is the first thing you have to understand is the probability mass function because from the you can clearly identify what is this distribution? So for this distribution, first I'll write in simple terms and then let us understand. In simple terms, I can write it like this. Probability of x is equal to x is equal to, there are two chances. First thing is, if it is x equal to 1, then the probability is p. If x equal to 0, in that case, my probability is 1 minus p. So this is the simplest way of writing this and this is easily readable. But going forward when we convert it into binomial and other distributions, you need to understand in a mathematical formula kind of method. So in order to make that simpler, let me write it in a different manner. P of x equal to x is equal to, how can I write this? P raised to x into 1 minus P whole raised to 1 minus x. So this formula and this formula are one and the same. How are the same? Just substitute the values. You just try to substitute value of x is equal to 1, this value here. What will happen? If x is equal to 1, 
this term will become 0. Uh, sorry, it will become 1 because if x equal to 1, it will be 1 minus p whole power 0. Any number raised to 0 is 1, which means this would be p power x into 1 where x is equal to 1, which will be p, right? If x is equal to 1. What if x equal to 0? In case x is equal to 0, the first term that is p power x, that will become 1, which means the remaining term would be 1 minus p whole power 1 minus 0, which is 1. So it will be 1 minus p. So if it is x equal to 0, value is 1 minus p. If x equal to 1, value is p. So this is represented by this particular formula in which I wrote p power x into 1 minus p whole power 1 minus x. So this is the formula for a Bernoulli distribution. Let us find uh, expectation and variance now. Before that, I'll write it cleanly. Probability of x is equal to x is p raised to x into 1 minus p whole raised to 1 minus x. Where what is x? x is the value. It can take either 0 or, or 1. Where 0 represents a failure and 1 represents a success. So this success and failure, depending on your experiment, it can be different different things. For example, if it is a coin toss, you can consider maybe heads as, heads as success and tails as a failure. So here I am considering 0 and 1 where 0 is failure, 1 is success. And what is P? P is the probability of success. That is probability of x equal to 1. This is what I am writing as P. So... Uh, let me lock the screen. Okay. So from this, let us understand the expectation and variance. Because what is expectation? Expectation or expected value is, let us say you are using this distribution. You need to know what is the expected value if you are doing this experiment for one time. How can you find expectation? The formula of expectation. We had seen in the previous lectures that is you have to sum over all the values of x, x into p of x, right? This is the formula for expectation. So in this case, you have two possibilities. One is x equal to 0 and the other is x equal to 1. If it is x equal to 0, what is the probability? It is 1 minus p. And if it is x equal to 1, the probability is p. So let us substitute these values here. What will you get? In case x equal to 1, it will be 1 into p, that is probability is p. Plus, in case x equal to 0, it is 0 into 1 minus p, right? So, what you get here? It is p, which means, that is, this term will cancel out because it is 0 into 1 minus p. So, what is remaining is p, which means expectation of the Bernoulli random variable is p and this makes sense because you are saying that the probability of success is p and you are only doing this experiment one time which means the expectation that is when you are tossing a coin let's say you are saying probability of success is 0 0.6 that is probability of head is 0 0.6 then what is the expectation is 60 percent right so expectation being p that makes sense let us now understand variance how do you calculate variance? I am keeping expectation there because we will use it in calculation of variance. Variance of x. What is the formula for variance? We had seen two different formulas in our previous lectures. Here we will use the formula of expectation of x square minus expectation of x the whole square. So in order to identify this, you need two terms. One is expectation of x which you have to square and you have to find expectation of x square. So expectation of x you already have here. Now let us find expectation of x square. How do you find expectation of x square? Expectation of x square equal to sum over all the values of x, x square into probability of x, right? So what is x? We already discussed one value of x is 1 and the other is 0. In case of 1, probability is p and in case of 0, probability is 1 minus p. Substituting here, you will get this is equal to 1 square into p plus 0 square into 1 minus p, right? This would again be p only. So you got expectation of x square also as p, right? 
So I'm going to write this separately here that expectation of x square is also p. So expectation of x square is also p. This is what you got now. Substituting these values here, what is expectation of x square? It is p minus what is expectation of x? That's also p and I have to square it. So this would give p into 1 minus p. So my expect expectation of x that is the expectation of Bernoulli distribution Bernoulli random variable is p and the variance of a Bernoulli random variable is p into 1 minus p. So coming to any particular distribution you always need to understand what is the expectation and variance because expectation will tell you what is the average value or what is the expected value while you are having this particular distribution and what will variance tell you variance will tell you how is the spread of the distribution so this concept of spread will be more clear for you when we use maybe gaussian distribution or something because there it will make more sense so for now you understood what is bernoulli distribution when to use it and how to find the variance and expectation and uh, let us just take one more thing that is whenever you understand a distribution it is under imp important to understand how does it graphically look like so coming to Bernoulli distribution uh, the graphical representation is very simple there are only two possibilities one is x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 so let us say this is my graph and here I have the value x equal to 0 and here I have the value x equal to 1 and let us let me draw a bar graph here let us say this is probability this is 1 and here maybe 0 0.6 here maybe value is 0 0.4 and let let us say in my case probability of x equal to 1 is 0 0.6 and probability of x is equal to 0 is 0 0.4 in this case how will my graph look like let's say at x equal to 1 value it is 0 0.6 and x equal to 0 value it is 0 0.4 so this is how the graph of a Bernoulli distribution will look like so coming to each distribution the first thing you have to understand is when to use which distribution that is under what conditions should you prefer this particular distribution so coming to Bernoulli you have to prefer this whenever you have a single trial of a binary experiment and the next thing is how to un understand the expectation variance and finally you should also understand what is the graphical representation right